ready from sodium. Probably just putting in the seed. Sure. It'll be in in a moment. There you go. Ready. So, this match is already like late to start, so let's get this started already. So, Division 1 is going to happen right now. Sodium versus Ramations. Of course. You know, both players hanging around near the bottom of the division. Sodium 1 and 3 after 4 games. Ramations 1 and 4 after 5 games. So, you know. There is the potential for relegation, but you know. Anything can happen. If you win this match, you may be safe. So both players definitely wanting to do that. Ramation has surpassed Moodus's expectations. What was uh, Moodus's expectations for Ramation? Okay, Ramation's up high. Long one dependent up high now. Okay, nice double there. And for Armations, playing with fire as usual on level 18. Like level 18 stacking doesn't actually matter that much if you can just roll 30 hertz consistently. So that seems to be what Armations is able to do. Especially on level 29 for some reason. So Armations stacking is just way better on 29 whenever I watch them. Got some crazy stuff over there. Doesn't make sense, but it works. Formation's gonna get a Tetris and another one. Let's go to 152, take the lead of Sodium briefly. But, you know, Sodium gonna immediately take it back with the Tetris. I need to stop saying you know, I feel like I realize I'm saying it a lot. Now I'm gonna consciously think about it. Formation for like two J pieces here. It's gonna get one of them now, just creates a long bar defensive and gets the long bar. And gets a Tetris. Because at 197, the Sodium misses the long bar to the left side, but gets another one over to the left. Formation's gonna take a few smart burns. Oh, and uh, a awkward drop of the L piece, and Formation's kind of threw his hand up in disgust at that placement. Knows that that was not what he wanted to do there. And he's actually set up for a pretty dirty Tetris. And is gonna get the dirty Tetris here. 223 for Armation. Sodium with a bit of an interesting board. Oh, then misses that uh, L piece and then gets the dead spuck in there. Just for the long bar to the left side. Interesting placements here for Sodium. I don't know what Sodium's thinking about when you go to these placements, but a lot of the time they work, so I'm not one to question a player's placement, unless it's just objectively bad. Tetris on row 4 for Romations. Gonna get a couple of L pieces, one to fill in the dependency, one to tuck. And it's just gonna continue setting up on row 4, no respect to the game's RNG sequence. It's just gonna get another dirty Tetris. 3.40 for Armations, 2.93 for Sodium, who knocks down to Tetris to go to 3.16. Our Armations board now is a little, a little messy. That S tuck was probably not an ideal move to make, but it's going to take a J double there. I would love a Z piece or a T. And, oh, and this uh, this board isn't looking great, but it's going to hit the J spin beautifully there. By Armation, Sodium still looking clean, so there's definitely an opportunity for him to big lead, but gonna up the well and then stash some Z pieces on the left side. Now Sodium's the one in trouble. He got a nice long bar down the middle, and it's gonna open up just in time so that long bar comes to fill in that dependency. Armation's actually set up for a dirty Tetris here. When isn't Armation set up for a dirty Tetris in level 18? Oh, and that T rotation probably not the best, but. Gonna sort that out and is gonna adjust in time for the dirty Tetris. And it's still got a lead of 15,000 points. Sodium you're looking for an S piece, a couple of S pieces. Okay. Okay, some nice burns there from Sodium. Get the J over to the left, and it's gonna get a Tetris, go to 418. 
And another one to take the lead back. 441 for Sodium Romations with a Tetra to the 454, so going back and forth here. Oh, and a misdrop from Sodium is going to end up taking a triple. We saw these players play in Mega Masters not too long ago. Ramations winning his bracket in a decider. Sodium going out in round one, I believe. I think to Rhubarb. I might be wrong. I think it was Rhubarb though. You know, these players consistently facing the best players in the world. Results will vary. Ramations into 19 with the textures. 549. Sodium. Looking for an L piece. No place for that S. That's not great. A lot of square piece right now. Sodium not getting that square. So gonna have to take a few burns. Gonna get a Tetris into 19 at 523. Ramations with the Tetris. 600,000 and another one quickly after. 625 here for Ramations and level 20. Sodium now often running on level 19 speeds as well with the Tetris. Sodium setting off for a dirty Tetris, gonna get the dirty Tetris, Formations gets two back-to-back -back Tetrises in quick succession. Sodium gets a Tetris as well to go to 627, both players at pretty similar Tetris rates. A couple of long bars there for Sodium that are unusable just to set up for a Tetris, there's a Tetris for Sodium, 654. Tetris for Armations and another one for Armations, 794 on 23. There's a Tetris for Sodium, 682 and another one for Sodium, 709 on 22. So this is pretty close in terms of pace. Oh, and Armations had to create a hole in the stack there. It takes, oh, didn't take the triple, took a single instead. And now burning medium high on the board on level 24 here. This is Sodium's chance to take a score lead. As Ramations is getting pretty heavily droughted, is gonna be able to bring that down though, and it opens up the well, gets a Tetris. Nice L tuck there from Sodium. Looking for that long bar, but now I think it's probably Sodium's turn to go through this heavy drought, and let's see how Sodium deals with this. I wonder if he knows the drought is coming. Gonna take a triple there. Oh, and this is pretty aggro. The bar's not gonna be coming for another like 10 pieces for Sodium. Probably. Oh, and hangs the S piece, but gets the long bar over, and then uses both bars for Tetrises. Able to bring it down. 9-11 for Ramations. 8-48, but a pretty terrible stack for Sodium right now. On level 25, but it's going to be able to burn this out. Sodium trying to set up for a left ball here, but not really working out. A nice long bar to fill in that dependency, set up for a left well, Ramation to the Tetris with the max out now. On level 28 at 1,048,000, there's a left well dirty Tetris for Sodium, 8,96. Can still max out before level 29 as well. Ramation's looking to 1.1 into the kill screen. For the Tetris for Sodium, 9,32. Tetris for Ramation into level 29, 1.19. A terrible S piece there for Armations. Let's see if he can do anything here. And that long water fantasy could be pretty difficult to work around. Gets a long water to the left side. How is that even possible? And is probably done here, surely. And that's going to be it for Armations. 1.128 is the top out score for Armations. What can Sodium do? 991 into level 29. Needs 1.129. Not set up for a Tetris, gonna take a triple. Need something to the left side. Oh, set up for a left one Tetris! Gets a left one Tetris! 1.0444 for Sodium. Needs two, three more Tetrises, maybe. Sodium. I'm gonna just line this out now. Oh, misses the tuck there. Sodium, 57,000 points away. 
Hey, nice talk for LPs. Sodium takes a triple there. 39,000 points to go. Needs 1.129. Oh my god. Oh, this is the... This is the long bar in there. It looked like he was trying to set up for a Tetris. Oh, misses the tuck. It's gonna top out 1.1. Exactly. And isn't gonna be able to complete the chase down. And Romation survives game number one. GG. 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Where's the. Oh, Romation's left, so the heart's gone. So basically, right? Commentary in literally every sport. The players cannot hear it. So it doesn't. It makes sense for something to be something else to be able to tell the players what the score lead is, and they shouldn't have to rely on commentary. But that's just the way Tetris is. The commentary should just be for entertainment purposes only, and for like informative purposes for viewers. So you know, it doesn't matter if they can't hear me. I'm just here to provide entertainment and to also tell you, you should go to Matcharino and uh, complete all the uh, tasks that it asks you to do. But I won't even, you won't even need to type in Matcharino yourself, I'll literally do it for you in the chat. All you need to do is head over to that link and claim some codes. I think there's what, four left? It will literally take you five seconds. Do it right now. And uh, Kingsman and Co. will be very appreciative of your efforts. I said you're having a bit of a coughing fit there. Quick. Hmm, if commentary is for viewers, they shouldn't employ British. If commentary is for viewers, you sh they would only employ British. American accent is so basic. <laughs> Alright, that's just for sodium, 78,000. Nice adjustment there for sodium. But not a nice start for Sodium. Only 18% Tetris rate for Sodium right now. Formations has taken about 4 burns, probably. No, 2 burns. It's taken 2 burns. So, polar opposite games right now between the two. Sodium with a suffer game. Formations with a near perfect game. You employ Brit Kingsman employs British because is it is by part of bylaws of CTL agreement with Australia. Too political, Kingsman. Way too political. But you're gonna get a nice J double on the right side, which is literally the only piece that you could have used there to burn cleanly. Something I noticed is it looks like Romations taps uh, three taps or two taps or something and Sodium is going to need to do something about this board because Sodium's board is not looking great. Oh and some misses the three tap of the Z piece and it's going to top out because of that. A 187 top out for Sodium and Romations is good. We can what go to work or something? I think that's the problem that he has, which is why we're trying to speedrun this set. 22 on Tetris, by the way. Completely didn't say that. Completely forgot. It's weird because I feel like I don't really need to say it when the countdown is on the screen, but I should still. And K9 watching Tetris with the countdown bits. 3, 2, 1. In one number, so it's 321 bits from K9. Rooting on sodium, you got the sodium. Exactly what uh, K9 said. 
So, no pressure, sodium. You've only got uh, all of K9's eyes on you right now. He probably can't hear me anyway, though, so it's fine. Chromations. As usual, setting up dirty Tetris isn't level 18. And this is looking a bit dangerous, but hits two back-to-back -back spins there with the S and then the Z. Formation just continuing to set up on row three here and gets a Tetris. Sodium with a nice burn there and is going to just slowly begin setting up for Tetris. Formations was looking for an LP to tuck there, but... Wasn't able to get it. So it's just going to set up one of the dirty Tetris and is able to get a nice uh, transfer. I'm going to open up column 7. I'm going to try and go get this Tetris without burning, but it's going to have to. It only takes one burn though, and one more long bar would be a perfect wall transfer. They're going to try and not put any weight in column 10. It's going to get that Tetris. That would just like a J piece or a long bar. To fill in that dependency on the right side. Okay, now needs the long bar. Oh, and now very long bar dependent. Triple long bar dependent for Armations. Get one of them. Like another. Gotta hold out for it. This is the roller brain that I know. Gonna hold out as long as possible for pieces, even if it doesn't make sense to do it. Armations getting long bars when that middle isn't really open and. Formations, uh, a little bit trouble, a little bit of trouble. But knowing Formations, he can probably 30 hertz his way out of this. You know, Sodium. Still not really taking advantage, but it's finally going to get a Tetris there. But just as Formations cleans up the board. So, Sodium taking a pretty long time to get his board in order as well. But as Ramations knocks down two quick Tetrises has taken the lead despite all of that. But I'm gonna get another Tetris. As Ramations look like he missed the S piece to the left side. We're gonna have to fix that with not long one dependent again. Um Will Ramations get the long one this time? Oh and uh not a great board, is it? Getting a little bit droughted and covers the world as the long bar shows up, but definitely has a lot of time to sort this out. Gets a long bar down there for a double in the middle. Formations is gonna be absolutely fine. As he usually is. More than not more than more often than not. There's a Tetris for Sodium 371. Formations with a weak left side, gonna get the long bar and the Z piece to fill that out. And it's gonna get a Tetris as well to get out of that. Sodium gonna hit the J L spin, but gonna miss the S spin. The S spin wouldn't have cleared anything anyway though, so there's some consolation there. Then you're gonna open up the right side, gonna get a Tetris. Formations long bar dependent again. I don't know how this happens so often for Formations on level 18, because it never seems to happen. On any other level. So maybe it's just level level 18 just gets way too creative for his own good. I think that Romation's probably tops out on 18 more than he tops out on 19 speeds. It's either level 18 or kill, or kill screen. To be fair, that's probably, you could probably name a lot of players like that. But when I do this, it's dangerous and I top out, says Hannah. Next time, don't top out, and then you'll be just like Romations. And there's a Tetris for Sodium 490, Romations 494. There's another Tetris for Sodium 513. So the lead is just going back and forth as Sodium has another coughing fit, but is able to get the Tetris anyway. Romation's going to transition first here, level 19, 518. Understood, you're welcome. Happy to give my advice any day. Romation's going to 
Fling those pieces to the left side. Sodium transitions 561. Oh, and uh, Ramesh is actually in a bit of trouble here, but gets a nice long bar for that dependency. Takes a triple. Much needed. Oh, but hangs a long bar on the right and needs another long bar to get him out of this. And gets another long bar over. And another Tetris there for Ramesh's 580. And another one for Ramesh's 606. Sodium with a the Tetris there. 635 has a score and a pace lead over Ramesh's right now. There's another Tetris there for Sodium. Oh, and Romations now is long one dependent up high. Instead of a mega dirty Tetris, gets a TP's over to the left. A nice double with an L piece. Oh, but doesn't really get that extra rotation on the J piece, but gets the Tetris anyway. And another Tetris from Romations. How easily survived that? So it's so few burns, but then hangs the T piece on the left. We're gonna have to sort that out. But it's only gonna take a couple burns. And Romations is already out of that situation. Sodium gets the T piece to the left side, but then misdrops that T piece, but gets a Tetris. Thing with rollers, they miss really low five taps, but then get really high five taps. Shows you the consistency of rolling. Both players uh, knocking down Tetris here. 735 for Sodium, 743 for Armations, but Armations is also 11 and lines ahead as Sodium takes the score lead back and also a significant pace advantage. You know, this game is far from over. We have all of level 29 to go, we have got a level 39 super kill screen enabled. Ramations holding out for that long bar, taking a few burns, gets the Tetris. 8-10 for Ramations. Sodium very low on the board here, gonna have to start building over a Tetris. Ramations gets the Tetris. 8-43, misses the Espin. Gonna have to burn his way out of that one. Sodium looking for a J-piece, gets the J-piece. And how... Oh no, and looking for JP's and then a long bar. A quick long bar will do for Sodium right now. Gets the dirty Tetris, Sodium. 839, but then some misdrops on Sodium's board, and he's quite high as well. We're gonna have to quickly sort this out and bring this down before level 29, because this could easily lead to many, many lines of burning. Ramations gets a Tetris, 954. Perfect square there for Sodium. Sodium looks like he's gonna be able to get out of this pretty soon. Ramations looking for an L piece for columns 2 and 3. There's a Tetris for Ramations, 995 into 29. Let's see if Ramations can burn his way out. He more than likely can. And taking some smart burns there. Max out on the kill screen from Ramations. Sodium now finds himself 100,000 points behind. And Ramations getting that long bar into column 2. Long bar dependent. Gets the long bar in there. And there's a Tetris into the kill screen from Sodium 943. So actually lost a lot of pace. But gets a kill screen Tetris. 982 says so back by about a Tetris and change. Ramations getting the long bar over to the left side. Looks like he's going to try and set up for a Tetris. Oh, and Sodium misdrops that J piece on the left. And this could be it for Sodium. And he's also behind in the score. And Sodium is going to top out. Ramations going to complete the sweep with a Tetris there on level 32. See what Ramations can do. There's another Tetris for Ramations. Ramations completing the sweep in style. Over Sodium. And it's more, probably going to avoid relegation at this point. But it's definitely not guaranteed. Oh, a, d a dirty Tetris there from Armations. How can you stop this man if he makes it to level 29? Look at this Aki bar. Look at how, how aggressive the stacking is, man. And I guess a Tetris there. Looking for that 1.3. One more burn for the 1.3. There's a 1.3 for Armations. Still going, but the board is creeping a little bit high, and it would be so Ramations to just have set up a dirty Tetris there, but he decided against it. Very un ramations like. Let's watch Ramations and see if he can show us super kill screen. Oh, and hangs an S on the left. But can he get anything over that? Oh, this looks like it's going to be it for Ramations now. Level 38, 1.345. Good set from Armations. GG.
So Romation's going to get the victory there. And uh, we're going to quickly get in um, Miles and Sidnev. Miles, I have Miles as I'm waiting on Sidnav. The GG. This is what it looks like. At the moment. I mean, it hasn't been reported yet. Actually, has it been reported? No, it hasn't. I don't think so. I think this is what it looked like before. I might be wrong though. It looks something like this. It could potentially look like this. It might not look like this. But. You get the gist of it. And now we will have... Miles and Sidnev, who is surprisingly at the bottom of the table. Let me get rid of these players, by the way. Oh, Miles is already here. Wait. Waiting on the Sidnev. Miles, you sent me the wrong link. But don't worry, I can fix it. Send me the push link instead of the view link. Not sure if you notice that. But it's fine. We only have your head. What is that camera angle, Miles? <laughs> Literally just a room cam instead of a... Uh... Uh, base cam uh, a cam for me. Can you point it any lower? Does everyone want to look at Miles' face right now? How is Sidnev owned for? Well, you're gonna have to ask her. <laughs> um, in my opinion, they've been playing some pretty questionable Tetris this season. No, it's on you. It's fine. It's fine. Your cam's fine. Your cam's fine. I was trolling. I was just trolling, bro. I think that's better. Before I could just see your head. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. Alright, let me uh, fit you in. British humour? What face? You just don't get it. It's just too advanced for you. Sorry. Um, we are waiting on Sidnev. Do not seem to have Sidnev at the minute. But you know, Sidnev's at Messexes, so how reliable can you be if you're there? Probably not very. And he gonna miss division finals because Sidnev throws. Hey, how'd that work? <laughs> Didn't understand. Actually, British humor. British humor's better though. So, really, I'm the winner here. Um. Where is the nerve? Um. Wild card goes to half mile.
Um, what do we do if uh, the dev just doesn't show up? Do I get to eat dinner now? Come. Can I replace the dev in CTL? Checking, I don't want to do that. Um, let's see if we can just like ping them. So, uh, Big time match for Miles here. Must win to stay in wild card contention. What's wild card again? Is that the uh, the highest score or something? The highest score. Right. Nothing like that. Please uh, refresh my memory. I love that I came here since CTM is scuffed, and here this is. I mean, this isn't scuffed, we're just missing a whole player. <laughs> Hello, Stanislaw. Stanislaw. Welcome. What's up? I hope you're doing good, because I am doing pretty good right now. Division 1 this season is 6 to play off, isn't it? I believe so. Oh, I forgot about the queue. I should probably end those matches. Okay, Sidnev says 1 sec, so just leave them. Never's on the way. Which is good news. You know, once upon a time I used to think matches take half an hour. And now it's one and a half hours and we did two matches. Kinda crazy. How quickly or how like quickly the time goes. Or how long it just shows you how long the matches are. I think like the matches weren't even that long, it was a sweep. <laughs> and the uh that that was it 3-1? So we haven't even had deciders. We are on CTL. It's always mock. What are these excuses? SX. It's literally always Max Out Club. That is... That is a lame excuse, SX. Not outside of Div 1, but this is Div 1. Why would Sidnev not be in Div 1? Come on. <laughs> Don't get mad at me because you're wrong. Come on. <laughs> Div 0. Time for Div 0.
so you know you're wrong, just don't tell me it's an excuse. Let's find your match 10 minutes ago if you knew you already set it up and now. Do you only have one set up, Messix? Scheduling disaster class right here. You're witnessing a scheduling hour. Am I surprised? Not really. That's probably a bannable message. <laughs> but I'm not going to do anything about that. Sex in here, I mean, said no. Hey, Sidnev, are you not in? Uh, my mock. Definitely like in the CTL Max Out Club. going to lose it you hate max up love trying to obvious virtual count obvious keeps crashing so good so now we don't have anyone in max up this is what we have all right we have sidnev now We have Miles' head um, frozen in our faces. Imagine if there was a permanent option where you couldn't even unban afterwards. I wish that option existed, T Storm. I wish that option existed. <laughs> Wall band. Fireworks? Stannis though, all seem to be Miles fans, kind of, right now. Do you not use um, native cam, Miles? I don't even know what virtual cam is. for Miles to fix his technical issue. But after that, we should hopefully be able to start. Imagine if 
Formations and Sodium took place after this match. Formations would have to like not play. Maybe Kingsman just knew that there'll be like huge technical issues. Was that 11 perfect? That was no way that was it. I didn't see the Tesha straight. Miles' camera is back. See if his gameplay comes back. might be a little bit longer. So while we're sitting here, might as well head to Macharino and uh, claim codes. Are there even any codes left? There are, right? I think. I'll just start like calling individual people out and seeing if they've clicked the code. <laughs> like, hold people hostage so that they uh, claim Macharino codes. Why are there still 4 or 50 codes? Am I not convincing enough? Come on. Click the codes, guys. <laughs> Can you kick me? Yes. Anpu2468. Have you claimed a code? Prove it to me. Do it right now. <laughs> Claim a code, and I want to see uh, the code get claimed. <laughs> I think one of the codes actually got claimed. Did it go up? I think I think the code actually got claimed. That's what's funny. Maybe that was like me though. Ah, oh, see, one of the codes actually got claimed. Why have I opened Tetris Factory? See, now there's only three codes left. <laughs> I think it was T Storm. Oh, yeah, it looks like it was T Storm. So thank you, T Storm, for the code contribution. Okay, looks like we're getting somewhere now. We have gameplay on both sides of the board. Who else is in chat right now? No one's going to speak in chat now because they're scared that I'll call them out. All you have to do, claim a code. Seed? Yes. 